Happy Friday the 13th. I am here in beautiful St. Edward State Park. And it's a Friday, as I said, the 13th. And uh, the weather is kind of nice. And I am here uh, in front of the lodge, formerly a Catholic seminary. And doing a residency here. This is week two. And I have this large canvas uh, that I'm going to start painting on. Um, here is the drawing I did this morning, which helps me to figure things out about the composition. I really like the light in the morning because uh, you get the, 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 the shadows from the trees and uh, the building side is dark and it makes the orange of the roof pop out and you get it's more dramatic lighting. But who knows the way it will be um, I'll be doing it tomorrow as well, painting. Um, so in terms of this size canvas, doing a plain air canvas is pretty unorthodox. Like only a few crazy people do that. Not many do. Most people, when they're doing outdoor painting, they, they paint things the size of that sketch pad, you know, very small and for good reason. But I am crazy. And one thing about this is that it's like a sail. I just have this wooden easel um, set up and so I've had to sandbag them down there when the wind gets uh, too much uh, and helps hold it down and I rubber tie this onto the back it doesn't even fit within this thing so it's a whole production in terms of um, you know just engineering it and carting it out here and all that you know there's this kind of all this nuttiness going on but that's kind of what makes it fun and amazing so I'll launch into it, and we'll check in later. All right, just wanted to show you where I'm at. Uh, mostly I've been looking at the drawing, really, uh, and the building as well, and trying to get the proportions uh, right. The uh, And it's a little tricky, so it's kind of taking me some time. So I'm... what. And, you know, the lighting's very different than... I don't really want the light on this face of the building, uh, uh, on the left side of the building. Um, and and so I'm not doing it that way. And, and so what I'm going to be doing is uh, kind of creating a, a cool grayish cloud value and then uh, dealing with kind of the greens of the, um, you know, lawn area. And I'm going to keep the lay-in really simple. So we're going to have a warm building, cool sky, and then, you know, kind of in between cool and warm with the greens of the, of the lawn. And then, then the real lighting will happen uh, tomorrow in terms of putting in, you know, contrasting values uh, that uh, are warm and cool and kind of start getting the illusion of light more. But it's really crucial that I get the, the darkness of the land and the buildings in, in relationship to the sky. I think that really helps a lot uh, when to do it. Okay, so I'm going to keep going. All right, here's the lay-in. I think I'm going to probably stop right now, just let this stuff dry. I've added some drying agents, Liquin and Daniel Smith Medium, and most of them, so they should be drier tomorrow. But, you know, it's a simple, straightforward lay-in. I'm not really trying to capture what's going on there, uh, but sort of looking forward to tomorrow morning. That's probably going to be overcast. Uh, but I might, we'll see what happens. Um, you, one never knows. Uh, and I might even make up the lighting situation based on my drawing. Um, so that's it for day one. Uh, just a simple lay-in. And uh, it'll be a good foundation to start tomorrow. Hello. Welcome to day two of this painting here at the lodge at St. Edward State Park and it's an overcast morning with rain in the forecast. It was raining earlier and I uh, 
my tent set up in case that occurs, which it could. And, you know, the thing, I was hoping for some direct light this uh, morning, uh, but that's not happening. Everything is kind of gray and to some degree flat. The building flattens out. And the funny thing is the sun is actually coming from the east over there, but uh, the shadows are on the right side of the building. And that's because the dome of the sky is the most light that's happening rather than direct sunlight. And so the front of the building is lighter, and that's obviously not what I have going on here or what I was hoping for. So I might just make it up um, because that is what you can do with art, is you just, you know, sometimes you just don't take what reality gives you. Um, okay, we'll see what happens. Okay, this is what I've gotten to. Uh, I actually like it. Uh, when I'm looking at it here in the video, it you know, it's just too bright and weird, but um, but I like it when I see it in front of my raw eyes without the camera. So, <laughs> uh, as you can see, it's still just a gray day, beige, bland. Uh, yet, I'm still taking a lot of inspiration, especially in the landscape. Um, you know, the colors of the landscape are really evocative and everything. Uh, so, yeah, at some point I'm going to have to do something with those yellow-orange uh, sun facing walls I they're so strong I don't want to lose them but anyway uh, yeah so this is where I'm at okay I wanted to show you where it wound up I'm li actually lying on my bed right now and this is a photo that's zooming in uh, I'm pretty happy with where it's at, I wouldn't call it finished. I'm going to put another four to six hours into it um, and tighten it up. Uh, but I like the general feeling and the strong shapes and the sense of light. Those are magenta shadows, those angled magenta shadows. Those were just a last minute thing I did without even thinking. Um, and they're kind of cool. I think there's something uh, good uh, going on with it. So. Um, I'll finish up this thing. It'll, uh, it'll be what it'll be. And there you go. So thanks for taking this little journey with me.